Jamal Hill has proved time and time again that he's different from any other fighter out there. The fact that this guy landed a title shot within three years in the UFC is a huge proof of it. But that's not the only thing which sets him apart from every other guy on every other roster. Did you know that he chose MMA over a professional basketball career? Or what about the fact that he was arrested for beating somebody really close in his family? Please allow me to give you 10 fascinating facts about Jamal's Sweet Dreams Hill. Number 10. He's a father of six. Yep, and you know what's even more surprising? His head is still full of hair. He's a father of six at just the age of 32, and he's a great dad to every single one of them. I mean, it's visible in his reaction after he found out that his dream of strapping UFC gold had finally become a reality. A man as tough as Jamal absolutely lost it. And I'm not talking crocodile tears here. I can't imagine knowing you've got six kids to take care of on a UFC basic salary. But the moment Sweet Dreams became the champ, he knew he wouldn't have to worry about bills again. His kids range in age from 5 to 17. And frankly, they couldn't care less about what a superstar their dad is. But that's a good thing for Hill, because it allows him to keep his work and home life separate. And that's what makes him such a great dad in the end. Number 9. He passed on a basketball career in college. Jamal might be a giant when you stand him next to Volk or Mighty Mouse, but he does feel like an average Joe in the light heavyweight roster. Still, that doesn't change the fact that his entire roster, except Daniel Cormier, could have been basketball players, if they had the skills, of course. But the truth is that Sweet Dreams did have the body and the skills. He was a star high school basketball player at the Rogers High School in Wyoming, and his high school performances even landed him a scholarship at Davenport University. But much like most of his colleagues, Jamal found punching people in the face far more interesting than throwing balls in a hoop. So he took a leap of faith and pursued MMA instead. And based on how it's going, I would say he doesn't have a single regret. Number 8. He almost beat a stranger who tried to prank him. I'll be brutally honest with you, pranks are getting out of hand and lamer by the day. But that's mostly because every pranker is stupid like we've never seen before and they're just trying to get internet clout. I mean, who would even think of messing with a UFC fighter, and especially a light heavyweight monster? Unfortunately, people like that do exist, and they obviously don't do much use of their brains. This particular stranger was seen walking up behind Jamal, and at first he seemed like one of his fans. The man was pretty respectful at first, hyping Jamal with his 11-1 record. Sweet Dreams, being a nice guy, even raised his hand for a fist bump. But the stranger not only left him hanging, he challenged Jamal, saying he could take him in a fight. You can guess what happened next. It was Jamal's hands on the prankster's neck while he was begging for forgiveness, telling Jamal that it was a prank. Luckily for the prankster, Jamal's friend was there to save his life. I personally would have liked to see the prankster pick up a few of his teeth from the floor. Anyways, as I'll explain later, it would not have been the first time Jamal went to jail. So stay tuned to find out about it later on in the video. Number 7. His nickname, Sweet Dreams, was inspired by Beyonce's song. Nope, there's no inspiring story or deep meaning behind Sweet Dreams, if that's what you're thinking. In fact, Jamal got his nickname in the most random way ever. Back when he was just starting off as a fighter, he hadn't really paid much attention to thinking about a nickname. When his first amateur fight came, they asked him for his nickname when they were getting his information. But Jamal had no answer. Coincidentally, a Beyonce song started playing in the background, and these lyrics came on. You can be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. And out of the blue, one of his teammates suggested that he should have Sweet Dreams as a nickname. Jamal accepted, then went into the fight and knocked out his opponent in 42 seconds. So, it's safe to say that the nickname was more than a perfect match for Jamal's ability to put his opponents to sleep in such a sweet fashion. Number 6. He's tested positive for cannabis before. You know what hurts even more than a definitive loss? Winning a fight and then having it declared a no contest just because he tested positive for marijuana. I mean, Jamal put on the kind of performance that landed him his UFC contract in the first place. Not only did he get knockdowns in under two minutes, he didn't let a brew get up after the second knockdown, clinching the win at the 151 mark. But his celebration was short-lived because a few months later, the Nevada Athletic Commission overturned his win to a no contest because of a positive drug test. And according to Jamal, it's just pure BS and the dumbest thing you could spend their time and money on. I mean, he wasn't even using it in competition anyways. 
Good thing is that, as of December 31st, 2023, fighters are no longer punished for consumption of cannabis altogether. Number 5. He's a huge Call of Duty fan. I bet the reason Jamal has so many kids and why he's such a great dad is because he has so much in common with them. Like the fact that he loves video games just as much as your average 10-year-old. I know it's hard to imagine this 6'4 monster hunched up on a computer cursing little kids out in the lobby, but he's actually a true Call of Duty fan. I don't know about anyone else, but that automatically scores him extra points in my books. Unfortunately for his opponents, and people like the family member that caused Jamal to go to jail, they get to experience different kinds of painful headshots. Stay tuned to find out who that was later on in the video. Number 4. He's the first fighter from Dana White Contender Series to become a UFC champ. Every single year, Dana somehow manages to bring up his Contender Series in an interview or press conference because he knows what it means. There's no doubt that the Contender Series has produced hundreds of amazing fighters since it started in 2017, but only a few would ever come close to champ status. Hill is not only one of these special fighters, but he's the pioneer in this category. And I don't need to remind you how he got this status in the first place. I mean, becoming a champ is one thing, but to outpunch one of the greatest light heavyweights in Glover Teixeira is on its own level. By the way, let me test your MMA knowledge a little bit. What other fighter from the Contender Series also became UFC champion? Let me hear your answer in the comments. Number 3. His only career loss came from an elbow injury. Jamal had a stellar 8-0 record by 2021. He'd been undefeated for almost four years since he turned pro. So no one expected him to get manhandled by Paul Craig at UFC 263. Now, I wish I could tell you that Craig caught a lucky break, but the truth is he was on top of hill from the very start. In fact, Craig managed to lock him in a nasty armbar inside the first two minutes. That's right, Jamal couldn't even make it past the first round because his arm looked to have broken and the ref didn't even notice it at all. At some point, though, he took mercy and stopped the fight at the two-minute mark, awarded Hill his first and only career loss ever. Good thing for Jamal is that his arm was dislocated and not broken. Number 2. He stayed loyal to his gym for 14 years. While most fighters never stop searching for better sparring partners and coaches, Jamal is farther from any of them. He's as loyal as they come, seeing how Sweet Dreams has stalked the Black Lion Jiu-Jitsu Academy in his hometown for over 14 years now. And I have to say, the credit goes to his head coach, Chad Pomeroy. Hill and Pomeroy met back in 2010, when the 19-year-old kid was still finding his way and stumbled upon a flyer for free MMA training. And it's safe to say that Chad saw a champ in him far before anyone else did. Proof of it is that Pomeroy gave him his first fight just 10 days after joining the gym, and Sweet Dreams would go to knock his first opponent out in 42 seconds. That day and today, through his amateur and professional runs, all the way up to his title shot, Jamal has kept his head coach as close as possible. Number 1. He was arrested on a domestic violence charge. So I guess all that glitters isn't really gold, but based on his reaction to an innocent prank, I wouldn't say I'm surprised to hear this, but I am surprised to find out that he sucker punched his brother. That's right, maybe the family love is limited to his kids only. From the looks of it, their argument was pretty dumb for a fight like this. They were disputing over whether or not Hill's sister-in-law should be paid $300 for cleaning his vacant home. But things got serious when the argument shifted to more personal matters, and Hill's brother called him out for being disrespectful to women and not texting his own daughter on Thanksgiving. That's when Hill turned his home into the octagon and allegedly punched his brother twice so hard that he knocked a tooth out of him and caused significant swelling on the face. Of course, his brother wasn't dumb enough to fight back, and instead, he let the police handle Jamal when he reported the assault from the emergency room. Which of these facts surprised you the most? Go ahead and tell us your valuable opinion in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our videos. And that's it for today. Until then, remember to protect yourself at all times.